What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to lower your CPU temperatures through an app called Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Now, as you guys know, I've done videos in the past of vacuum laptop coolers and laptop cooling pads, which have proven to be pretty useful. But this is actually an app that lets you undervolt your CPU and still keep around the same gaming performance and also dramatically decrease your computer's heat from the CPU and also this is completely free so this is going to be pretty much a test to see if this app here is actually better at making the laptop CPU cooler while gaming so as you guys know I made those other two those so I'll leave links to those in the description if you want to go watch two videos about vacuum coolers and laptop cooling pads and then we're gonna compare that to these two to this app right here so basically all you guys gotta do is go to this website it's called Intel Extreme Tuning Utility now the link will be in the description this link up here will be in the description click this download link set up the file get the app ready and open it up now you're gonna have a little prompt that asks you if it can make changes to your device click yes and it will open up now all this stuff here you just need to ignore it the only thing you need to, re to look at is this right here the core voltage offset that is what we're looking for now basically since I'm on a Dell Inspiron 7559 I already know and I've tested that the that the, the voltage I can go to the the negative voltage I can go to is negative 120 so that is my that's what I know is the best for me so if you guys are also using the same exact computer by chance my my uh, computer has in, has a core i5 6300 HQ so if you have a laptop with that exact processor then set it to this and uh, that's pretty much the best setting for you if you have that CPU you guys can temper or tamper going lower and higher and all that uh, now basically what you guys are going to want to do and this is going to be lengthy because it, you do need to do a good test to make sure that your CPU can handle being starved because basically what you're doing is letting is allowing less power to go to the CPU so what I found out is that this right here negative point or negative 0 0.120 volts is the best uh, the best way to starve my CPU while still getting the exact same performance maybe minus one or two frames in games but my temperature goes down by a lot and it's it's actually amazing it's great so basically what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to be started off at zero. So you're going to be starting off at, at zero right here. So what you guys are going to want to do is go down by increments of 10. You guys can go down by increments of five if you really want to, you really want to, you know, be super careful. Basically what you guys are going to do is start from zero right here and just go to 10, then to 20. And basically what you're going to do is so you're going to click 10 and then you're going to run a CPU test. So you're going to want to go to advanced tuning and go to stress test click that then go to click on CPU stress test that's all you're gonna wanna do then click on here right here don't do days all you have to do is set it to 30 minutes do a 30 minute stress test on your CPU and then click apply then all you're gonna wanna do is click start testing right here the apply was actually just to apply that vo that voltage offset I'm sorry about that so after you choose your voltage just click apply to start the test you just click start testing and then you look down here at these numbers and these are the numbers you're going to want to be looking at. So as you can see, the CPU just jumped up to 100%. That's good. You want it to be at 100% utilization. Anywhere from 95 to 100% is where you want to be. If you go below that, that means your CPU is being starved too much, and it's not going to get you any good performance. It may cool off your CPU, but your game performance is going to drop by a lot. Also, we're going to keep an eye on that package temperature, although we will be testing in-game. As you can hear, my laptop fans just came on. It definitely is running that test now as you can see the, the the temperature is going up but it will start to go down as you can see jump down to 76 but we will load up a few games and we will test out there to see what the difference is again we'll load up CSGO and we'll do the same test that we did on the other videos with the vacuum cooler and the laptop cooling pad to see if this app can actually decrease your temperature more than just buying a $20 laptop cooler. So as you can see, my CPU is staying at 100%. The processor frequency is staying at the exact where it should. My processor is 2.8 gigahertz. As you can see, it's at 2.79, so that's good. It's not getting starved, and everything is good there. So you can stop the testing. Now again, this is when I say it's lengthy because you want to do a really good stress test to make sure that your PC doesn't crash. Basically what you're going to do is keep decreasing this number until your PC blue screens. Now this isn't the end of the world. You can easily just restart your screen. It's like when your screen shows the sad face and says, sorry, Windows ran into a problem. You just restart your computer. Then you set the voltage back to 
one one above where you were. So that way you know exactly where the best setting is. So I'm going to go back to my advanced tuning tab. I know that my best setting is negative 120 right here. That's where I know it's good. So I set it there. And again, you want to go to your stress test and then your CPU test and then you start testing. Now to show you that this is working for me on my Dell Inspiron 7559, as you can see, CPU utilization is at 100%, processor cache frequency still at 2.79 gigahertz, and as you can see, the core package temperature dropped by a lot. Now again, this isn't in game, so we're going to load up a game, but that's basically how you use this app. You can also use it to overclock and do lots of other things, but this this tutorial is specifically showing you how to lower the voltage on your CPU to cool it off. So once you do that, you can just minimize it, let it live down here. You will have to reapply this every time you restart your computer or the close the or you close the app, you'll have to reapply these settings, but it takes like five seconds. You just open the app, set the core voltage offset after you know what it is, and then just click apply, minimize it, and it'll live down here in your little taskbar. And all you have to do then is uh, load up a game. Uh, it has very minimal effects on gaming performance. It's it, it, you'll definitely you definitely won't notice it. It's a very, very lightweight app. It, won't, it doesn't take up a bunch of RAM. It doesn't hog any CPU power or anything like that. So you can let it live there. You can close the window like that and you can just let it live here. It'll sit there and then you can just let it chill. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up CSGO and we're going to do a stress test and a, and a CPU temperature test compared to the other two videos I did about my laptop coolers. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in CSGO. Alright guys, so I'm in CSGO right now with my 0.120 volt offset, and as you can see, look at that temperature, I'm not even at 60, I'm actually just barely touching 60, I'm still at 56, 59 Celsius, about to hit 60, that is a crazy temperature decrease, and keep in mind, this app is completely free, this is a free app you can get if you have an Intel CPU, and the, the coolers I've shown you in the past, the, the vacuum cooler was $20, and the pad cooler was about $14, and this is a free app that is doing insanely well at cooling my CPU just simply by starving it a little bit and taking away some of the voltage and it just it dramatically or decreases the temperature. It's actually, it's actually crazy how much the temperature is going down. I can't you take my eyes off that. I mean, look at that. 55 Celsius, 56 Celsius. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, there's really nothing more to say other than this works. Now, again, I just opened up the game, so I'm going to play for a little bit and I will come back later. And I will tell you guys, or I'll play for about 15 minutes or so, just to let the CPU actually heat up to how much it would normally heat up to, as uh, if you were to do a long gaming session. So anyway, guys, I'll be back in about 15 to 30 minutes, just to see how high the temperature gets, so we can get a good reading. All right, guys. So I've been playing for about 15 minutes. I played two matches, so that's about 20 minutes actually. And I'd like you guys to take a look up at that temperature. We are currently sitting at 53 Celsius. I'll get in a corner so you can see that better. I'll probably zoom in on it too. 53 Celsius. 52 Celsius. That is over 20 Celsius of a decrease in temperature. That is insane. Because on the laptop cooling pad and the cooling vacuum, we got about the same results. There was about 2 Celsius in between those. It was 74 and 72. So this is a 20 Celsius decrease. This is 20 Celsius. That is absolutely crazy. Guys, that is a 58 degree decrease in temperature. 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 20 Celsius in Fahrenheit. And that is how much the CPU went down in temperature. 58 degrees. That is insane. That is a, that is a huge decrease. And this is all from a free app that you can get. If you have any kind of Intel processor, you can get this. Now, keep in mind, this is the results for my, my particular CPU, the Intel Core i5-6300HQ. Now, uh... If you have a different um, Intel processor, then your your results are going to vary because there's going to be a limit to how much you can uh, clock down your processor. So I do recommend that you look up guides on how to do it, or you just uh, decrease it slowly. Um, you just keep decreasing it by little uh, increments until you get the best result that doesn't blue screen your PC, and uh, you'll get crazy decreases in temperature. I mean. I'm guessing that it's going to be at least 10 degrees Celsius, even if even on the low end of you know a perform or a, a decrease, you're probably going to get 10 Celsius, and that's a, still a ton. Like the just it's just crazy that an app did this. I'm definitely not going to be investing any more money in um in cooling pads or vacuum laptop coolers because this is absolutely crazy. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys did like it, please be sure to leave a like. If you liked it a lot, then subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.